is Full Cards here. Long Rec from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go. In front of me today, 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. Let's pop it in the chin like Rocky. So the first real revamp, retooling, refreshing of Upper Deck Series in forever, in like 20 years. So I guess it's kind of going the way of the Dodo. It's flagship, but people are high-end collecting, right? So mid-end collecting with all the autos and stuff. So this is starting to feel a little bit more like MVP. So they're refreshing and refabbing it a lot less base cards within your box, right? Configuration 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box is 144 cards, as opposed to eight times 24, 192, right? So a lot less base cards. Three inserts per pack as opposed to one insert per pack. So six young guns plus 30 more inserts within the box. Now, does that devalue inserts? You know, it's not as if they have much value to begin with, but yeah, they're just printing cards. It's a new wax era. They're trying new things. They want to keep us engaged. And this may be more for like honest hobbyists, right? Because they're just going to print a ton of young guns, including parallels, right? So base at one through two, honey. So that's normal. Young guns, two, one through 250, still 50 young guns. The issue is all of the parallels. The base have a ton of parallels. The young guns have a ton of parallels. Look at this. So now they have the output for silvers, the clear cuts, they have deluxes numbered to 250, exclusives to 100, outburst reds to 25, high gloss still to 10, but they have the outburst gold one of one. Now, if you're wondering, one of one young guns, do they exist? Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's the first ever one of one young guns, so they're just doing it to create the chase. They're feeding into our gambling high. Someone's gonna pull, you know, at some point, a one of one. Bedard, right, from Series 2, because he's not in Series 1. In fact, I don't even think he's in the canvases, unless he could potentially be in some of the unannounced Easter eggs. So there is a Connor Bedard Easter egg unannounced card of the NHL draft pick, so keep an eye out for those. So within a box break, expect your six young guns, four to five upper deck canvas, including a young gun canvas, a base out for a silver, one additional parallel. So that could be a clear cut, it could be a canvas black and white, it could be a 200 by 85 gold. There are two base 200 by 85 inserts. They're new. What are those? Dimensions of the rink, apparently. Uh, they have one Dazzler's Blue. For sure, they have parallels of those. Eight inserts. The debut dates, retrospectives, the stat box fillers are new, and the teacher's pets are new. They have six more inserts, which are the honor rolls and the upper deck portraits, which look bonkers this year. Uh, you have to see the McDavid. It's hilarious. They have six more inserts, which are the special edition stat surges and star zones. Those those are all new, right? Those are all new. And then you should receive a wild card, which can be anything. Typically, those are the ratio cards or the numbered cards or some, you know, cool Easter egg, right? So something worth mentioning again is they're just printing cards, man. Even if there's 144 as opposed to 192 cards, they're just printing cards because they're printing inserts. Upper deck portraits, population counts, they all have a ton of parallels. Population counts are actually kind of cool, number to 1,000, but they have parallels number to 500, 150, 25, 10, and they also have one of ones uh, People do collect those population counts, by the way. They do go for some decent money on the secondary market. They do have rookie cards within there, although they only have a couple this year, uh, and maybe not the biggest names, but a couple of the big names. Ish, ish. Upper deck portraits have silver frames number to 99, red frames to 25, printing place 101. I mean, boom, bang, bing, bong. All right, guys, so let's just scrunch a bunch here. Who would you be looking for? I'd be looking for Levi, for Nyes, for Wolf, for Lucuse, for Greg, for Evangelista, for Casper, all those guys. Coronado, Askarov is supposed to be very good. Um, mainly hockey cards uh, rated them, so you can go check out his channel uh, for the, I guess, lettering with the grades for each player. So let's have at it, guys. Let's rock and roll. All right, uh, pack number one, rock and roll, guys. So they could print as many as 125,000 plus uh, base young guns of Connor Mc... I was gonna say David, Connor Vidard, uh, which would be a lot more than they printed for Connor McDavid. So keep an eye out um, for that. Just be mindful of it. Frank Vitrano, and we have our first special edition here. Very nice, and it's Tage Thompson. Off to slow start, a uh, big bodied guy. They take like 400 games to develop, not the uh, typical 200. Look at this, the Trevor Zegras teacher's pet gets an A plus for overtime goals. 
And we did hit the Ridley Greg. Now this guy is supposed to be very good. People in auto are very excited about him. So very nice to pull him. Certainly on the list of some of the top players. Okay, good. Aho Seth Jarvis, he has been lights out first couple of games here. Mainly Hockey Cards has Greg, I think as an A minus uh, in terms of his uh, prospect uh, rating. So we got, let's continue on with CC. There's Darlene, like to see him have a good year. Lowry, Vanacek. And our first one of these 85 by 200s, which is the size of the ice rink, we have Willie. Very, very nice. And we do have a Young Gun Canvas, or is that just a canvas behind there? So we have Jack Eichel, uh, Superstar. So these are the honor rolls going back to 2003, 2004. And we do have a base upper deck canvas of our man. Look at that, very, very cool. Uh, looks like he's holding a big bottle cap, but I'm guessing it's a chip. Is that a poker chip? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Dougie Hamilton's gonna have a monster year, by the way. Hyman went off the other night. Fleury, did you guys see his standing O? He got a standing O for the first star in Montreal because they know it might be his last season. And of course he's from Montreal, as am I, by the way. Taylor Radish, continuing on. Couture, uh, Ben Sherratt, Lucas Raymond. Uh, so this is one of the star surges. Very nice, very nice. And we do have, okay, so oh, we have the Gruden. Gruden's a decent prospect. I guess he's like a C or something. But we have the Lucas Dostal. A uh, rookie retrospective, and there is the Groot in one of the few uh, Penn Young Guns, if not the only one. Continuing on, there's Fassi, who's got back issues, Lex, who scored, and Slipkowski. So I'm really concerned. I believe that the prices will absolutely come down for a lot of these. Um, you know, everybody's chasing Badar, but wait till all his rookie cards flood the market, man. And the hype is at its absolute apex right now. So be very careful if you're, you know, overspending and gambling on this. And Young Guns are, you know, mass-produced cards. 125,000 cards, compare that to 999 um, uh, Future Watch autos. So the Future Watch and Husky Andre Miller will be the ones that will retain their value. Uh, Stat Fox Fillers, uh, Nate here. So that's a very cool insert. And I'm not gonna put too many subtitles because it is a really stay break. And there is Leon Dreisaitl. And what do we have behind here? So we have a base upper deck canvas of Clayton Keller. I really like Clayton Keller. What's great about Arizona is that if you're in fantasy, they always play a lot of off day nights. So you get games in, you know, on the light days. Valamaki, so Anders Lee, and there is the Jonathan. So we have another one of him. So we're hitting him all over the place here. So there is his, I guess, debut date. So these are really cool, man. Oh, we have a young gun. You can probably guess who it is at this point. And it's Braden Point. So this is the star zone. These are really, really pretty, man. I really like that. So we have a Rusek, Lucas Rusek behind there. Uh, there's a lot of depth on the team at this point. Josh Anderson, Lynn Holm, and the Series 1 checklist with Stammer and McJesus. Continuing on, Morgan Frost, Milano, Rupe Hintz. I think he's okay. The guy gets so injured all the time. David Pasnak. So this is one of our Dazzlers. These are the common Dazzlers. The Blues are the commons. We have a Kaiser debut dates as well. And an upper deck portrait of Jake Ottinger. So these are kind of a frame of the Mona Lisa. It's like Louvre looking uh, paintings, I guess. Philip Forsberg, Garland, Matt Boldy, who got injured, unfortunately, and Chris Letang. All right, continuing on, Sam Bennett, uh, Devin Taves, Matty Beniers. What is this? What is that? I have no idea what that is. Uh, is that, is that an, oh, look at this. So we have a Tyler Clevin. What is this pack, man? I was about to say S-H-I-T. I'm so excited. I, you know, release day breaks for me are like Christmas time. So we have a Tyler Clevin. All right, Young Guns, continue on. We got Tuvo, uh, Ch Chinnikov, Nick Suzuki. So I'm curious what this thing is, because I did not see this on the checklist. I have no idea what this is. And this is a Dion's. It's a Dion's. What is this? Is this unannounced? What a cool looking card. Leon Dion. Uh, wow, that is crazy. I don't think that's on the checklist. So that's like an Easter egg thing now, guys. Can you imagine? So we did hit an Easter egg. Of course, it wasn't the Bedard, unfortunately, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Continuing on, Taylor Hall, Nick Paul, Russ, Darcy Kemper, uh, Frederick, 
uh, Matt Benning, Tage Thompson doing a dive. Or, is he still, did he lose an edge or is he still skating there? Connor Timmins, and we have another one of these bad boys. So we have a 200 by 85 of Tyson, Tyson Forster. He is a great prospect, actually. So really nice to hit this. It's a rookie insert, obviously. And there's the Cole Caulfield. Why not? Why not? And an upper deck canvas of Jason Dickinson. We have another Young Guns here. Okay. So continuing on. Hey, there you go. We got Jack Eye. What do you think of these jerseys? I think they look kind of cool. Uh, Beauvillier, Owen Power, Aya Follow, Logan Thompson. And behind the stamp coast, we do have a Ridley Gregg star search. So a lot of rookie inserts thus far and a report card of Pedersen, A plus for shorthanded uh, goals, I guess, or play. I don't know what that says. It'd be nice if we could read that. And who do we have here? We have Hunter McCown, uh, another sort of middling young gun, I would say. I wouldn't mind uh, knowing Beck or Farrell, uh, which would be the Habs prospects. Uh, another one of the teacher's pets, Igor Shesterkin wins. Okay, that one's very straightforward. Uh, and what is this behind here? And we have an upper deck canvas of Brandon Sad. All right. Yeah, so I'm really concerned that the prices of the cards will tumble because of the fact that over time, you know, the hype will die down, of course. And, uh, you know, people are just willing to pay crazy money right now because of all the hype, but that will change over time. So we got Giordano. We have another one of these and said uh, Dylan Larkin. These are really beautiful. Oh, wow, cool. So we, yeah, we have an acetate here. So who's the acetate and who's the young gun? And the young gun is Dustin Wolf. Nice, nice. Definitely one of the ones I was gunning for. That is wicked. That is so good. So happy with that. So what's this? I think this is just a base young. It looked like it was upside down. So who is this? Oh, it's Peter Mrazek, goalie mojo, of course. How could I not have goalie mojo? I'm like the goalie mojo guy. All right, guys, last pack, last pack. And we do have our outburst, but it does not, I don't think it is. I don't think it's a young gun, unfortunately. So we have a Middleton Petrie, uh, Lukanen, UPL, of course, Nishushkin, bit of a slow start for him. Well, this is his deployment, of course. Nate Schmidt. And here are our inserts, all three inserts. So what do we have here? We have a Kent Johnson. So this is one of the uh, rookie retrospectives. And we have a Shane Wright. Uh, I'm not really sure. This is just, what a crazy look. What is he wearing? What is he wearing is the question. He seems eager about it, happy about it. And we do have our uh, outburst. Our outburst is Claude Giroux. Very nice, guys. That was a solid box. So that's basically it, guys. I believe I hit an unannounced card, which is wicked, which is really wicked. So guys, do me the honor of sub-liking, hashtagging, dry and get into my draw. I will be giving out another big shipping box full of cards. Trust me on that, including a lot of these cards. So hashtag dry in for sure. Get into my draw. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support from all you guys and if you want to i did a breakdown of group breaks with regard to player name breaks so check out that video it's a long form video uh i love you guys i love your support uh and i love our shared love of the hobby book guys live and direct from a place called brooklyn new york city what about that card in the background